Last time on everybody. I gotta take a second here and say something. I am so proud of the nerve and the guts of my girlfriend. Now, before I say who she is, I have to say that I have spent the majority of this week defending her. Defending her right to have her own opinion, her right to be healthy, her right to stand up for freedom, to stand up for democracy, and to stand up for the future of our children. And that is where her fire comes from. And believe me, she's full of fire. She doesn't even know that I'm talking about her right now because she's still filming me. But I'd like to introduce to everybody my good girlfriend, who I love and adore, Leticia Montana. Hi, everybody. Thank you for that beautiful introduction, Kelly. Um, you all would have heard by now the um, what happened with me earlier this week uh, when I went to St. Joseph's Hospital because I thought I had broken my finger. It turned out it was just sprained. Uh, and I got a lot of bad jokes about that, as you can imagine. A lot of bad jokes. Hi, my love. Yes. And, and people have even accused me that uh, I was using my son as a prop and this was all just a prop. And uh, that's not the case. And, and as, it, as you, you guys know me, I've been coming here for many weeks. And uh, I, I feel my message today is remember what our motivation is and remember what their motivation is. Their motivation, may I have my flyer, my, my uh, poster that I have there, please? Sweetie. I, yeah, could you bring it please? So what my poster says is, you know, their motivation is greed and power. Our motivation is the future of our children. Our why is much, much stronger. And that is why we will win, my friends. Because when you are grounded in, in, in truth, when you are ground, grounded in, we are fighting for the future of our children. I don't care how much shit they throw at me, okay? Because they've done, you know, 90% negative comments on my social media and like trying to disparage me and and as you as Chris mentioned you know the the mainstream news hasn't been doing uh, uh, you know they haven't been very nice to me the only station that was nice was the uh, rebel news everybody else uh, during the interviews they tried to disparage me what I see here is I, I, I prefer to look well, of course, they're, you know, we all know that the, it's a total of five corporations that own all of the mainstream news channels. So they're, they're all playing for, they're all um, representing the same puppet masters. So it's okay. Well, the opportunity that I see here, you know, as I said in my interview with Rebel News, every dark cloud has a silver lining. And as a result of my viral video, our movement is now getting so much more attention. And, and even though they try to make me look bad in those... Um, talk show interviews, they, they were trying to make me look like a tinfoil hatter. Um, all of us who are in this crowd, we've done our own research and we all know that there are med, uh, doctors out there that have been speaking out against this so-called mask science. The studies are not conclusive and you can find evidence on both sides of the story. So, and we also know, we, we, I have friends in my Facebook network that work for a hospital and they're telling me, we get five calls per day of people who have fainted in the streets, okay? So, so don't tell me that it's not dangerous to put on a mask and don't tell me when, when all of us have seen those videos that within seconds of putting on a mask, oxygen levels drop down into the, the danger zone. So those videos are equally viral and people have, can access them. So with that being said, if people want to put on a mask, you put on a mask, okay? Don't tell me what I can put on my God-given body, okay? You can wear a hazmat suit for all I care. And as a matter of fact, as Kelly and, uh, aptly pointed out, look up what virologists have to wear in, in, a, in a virology lab. It looks akin to a spacesuit, okay? And they're telling us that your bandana is going to work just fine. Are you serious? The viral particles are, you know, orders of magnitude smaller versus what actually can pass through these masks. And they're like, well, but it will help reduce the do droplets. Well, my dear, how many droplets do you need to, to, to pass an infinitely, uh, infinitesimally small particle? Well, I mean, I, I mean, uh, the, of course, the, the science itself is very questionable, and all of us who have done our research know that. But I mean, for the people out there believing, you know, oh, but it's less particles. Oh, so less particles uh, somehow justifies my endangering my own health by putting on uh, th these masks that impede my breathing. No, thank you. Okay, we have a charter of rights and freedoms in this country, and we have freedom to.
security of the person. And, and my freedom security of the person was denied in two ways uh, that Saturday night at the hospital. Number one, uh, they're telling me I have to put on a mask that potentially impedes my own health, uh, uh, you know. And then in addition to that, they're denying me access to public, taxpayer-funded health care in this country. I wonder if our friend not being asked to wear a mask at the hospital today had something to do with the shitstorm that, uh, that, you know, that viral video of mine created. Okay, uh, because I just found out, and it got published in, I think, in one of the Ottawa newspapers, a 54-year-old woman went to an Ottawa hospital with an eye infection, and she was denied care because she couldn't put on a mask, and she had a genuine condition that she absolutely cannot put on a mask, and she was sent away. Okay, I, I had an eye infection earlier, like last fall, and I had to be on IV antibiotics for five days. You can go blind from an eye infection, it's not a joke. So, the fact that Canadians are being denied care in our hospitals, this is... Uh, this is inhumane, this is against human human rights, it's against our charter freedoms, and they've got some lawsuits coming their way, and our government better wake up soon, because this is actually not acceptable anymore. Okay, and, uh, and with regards to, you know, all the media and uh, social media backlash that, uh, that, that I was subjected to in the, in the past week, you know, I find comfort in this quote from Steve Jobs, which I also posted on my social media. And it goes like this, guys, listen up. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the ones who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Thank you for standing strong. Stand strong. We need to stand our ground in every way. Psychologically, emotionally, physically. Stand your ground. We are fighting a just cause. God bless you all. Let's eat some more everybody.